Hi, I'm Grayson Knapp and I'm a junior here at Clarion University. In this video, I will be giving you a tour of all the different housing options on campus. The suites on Main are located down the hill from Eagle Commons. Finished in 2016, they are comprised of two buildings, Suites on Main South and Suites on Main North across the street. Both buildings have the same room options available for students. However, Suites on Main South includes Starbucks and the bookstore, while Suites on Main North has our movie theater. Like the name states, the suites on Main are just a short walk from downtown Clarion, which includes restaurants, shops, and plenty of things to do. Right now, we are in a shared semi-suite in suites on Main South. Here you can see everything that comes with the room. There are adjustable twin beds that you can set your height preference to. A lot of students choose to make their bed high so that they can fit more storage underneath. You can arrange your room in whatever way works best for you and your roommate. In Suites on Main, you are allowed one microwave and one fridge for every room. You are also allowed any electronic appliance so long as it has an automatic shutoff feature, like a Keurig. The rooms in Suites on Main include heating and air conditioning, so you can set the temperature to whatever you'd like. That brings us to the closet space. As you can see, there's shelving and plenty of space for hanging clothes or storing shoes. There's also additional storage for any items or toiletries that you can put under here or on the counter space. The bathrooms and suites on Main include one toilet and one standing shower. Two students will share one bathroom, regardless of whether or not they are in the shared semi-suite or the private semi-suite. What we've just shown you is the shared semi-suite, pictured on the left here, where two students share a common area. But in the private semi-suite, pictured here on the right, each student gets their own bedroom. Each floor has two common areas like the one seen here. The TV is available for students to watch movies or play video games. In the suites on Main, there are laundry rooms on every floor. It's $1.25 for every load of the washing machine, or a dollar for every load of the dryer. Students can use quarters, or they can utilize the seaboard swipe, where they can use equal dollars to pay for laundry. There are two study lounges on each of the floors as well. Students can come here if they don't want to walk all the way up to the library. The glass is made semi-soundproof to be sure that it's a quiet space for students to study. The Hilltop Suites are located up the hill behind Becht Hall. They are comprised of two buildings, Campus View and Valley View. Both buildings have the same room options available. The only difference between the two is their location. The buildings are centrally located within campus, making it a short walk to academic buildings and other on-campus locations. Here's an example of a room in the Hilltop Suites. Each one comes with two uh, twin adjustable beds that you can set to whatever height you'd like. There's also one dresser for every student. There's enough room to fit the dresser underneath the bed if you choose to place it under there for more storage. There's also two desk and chair sets that come with the room, as well as closet space where you can have shelves and also hang clothes and store shoes. In the Hilltop Suites, two students will share one bathroom. There's plenty of counter space, as well as additional storage underneath. Adjacent to the sink is the bathroom, which includes a toilet and a shower and bathtub. The common area is separate from the bedroom and includes a sofa, loveseat, and two tables. Every room is equipped with heating and air conditioning, so you can set the temperature to whatever you'd like. There's additional storage in the common area that allows for a microwave and a mini fridge. In a two-person, you can have one microwave and one mini-fridge, but in the four-person option, you can have two of each. In the Hilltop Suites, there are two-person or four-person options. I'm in the common area of a two-person suite right now, but in the four-person room, there will be a doorway right here that leads to another bedroom and bathroom that is identical to the one that we just saw. In both buildings in the Hilltop Suites, there's laundry room on the first floor. It's $1.25 for the washing machine and a dollar for the dryer. There's also a seaboard sweat, so that you can pay for laundry using equal dollars, or you can just use quarters. In the Hilltop Suites, there is a common area on every floor. There's places to sit and lounge around, and also a TV that's available for students to watch movies or play video games. There's a kitchen on the first floor that comes equipped with an oven and stovetop, a fridge and freezer, and a microwave. All students are free to use these appliances so long as they clean up afterwards. 